Welcome traders to another Tickler weekly market outlook for week commencing the 12th of September. Starting in the US, uh, don't get any data until Tuesday when we get the August NFIB small business optimism. Last time out 89.9 print, looking for a 90.5. Um, consolidation really near the pandemic lows with the outlook still looking pretty gloomy for the small businesses in the US. We also on Tuesday get the August CPI and we're looking for a negative 0.1% with the potential of a negative 0.2%. Core inflation is obviously the focus, uh, 0.2 to 0.3% really necessary to quell further fears on that front. Heading into Wednesday, we get August PPI, looking for a flat print there, 0% producer inflation cooling as supply issues begin to ease. Then heading into Thursday, See initial jobless claims likely to remain at low levels for the time being. Uh, we get September Fed Empire State Index looking for a negative 15.5. Uh, September Philly Fed Index as well looking for a 2.0 print there. Then August retail sales uh, looking for those to come in flat. Uh, in line with those regional surveys that have been highly volatile and increasingly uh, varied across the nation. Inflation and rates clearly weighing on the consumption side of uh, the calculation here. We also get August import price index looking for a negative 1.3%. Import prices are declining from elevated levels. We also get August industrial production looking for a 0.2% print there. Uh, businesses are working through these ongoing supply issues. And we finish up on Thursday with July business inventories looking for a 0.6% print there. Uh, rebuilding of inventories continues at a pretty robust pace. And then rounding out the week on Friday, we get September University of Michigan sentiment. Last time 58.2, looking for 59.3. Consumers still feeling the heat from inflation and rates. So moving to the charts from a technical perspective, the dollar index traded into our target zone at the 110.30. And we found... Uh, supply coming into the market there. We've since seen a pullback to test initial support, 10840s. I'm looking for a move down now to uh, make a test on the 107.50 monthly pivot as uh, pullbacks remain contained uh, below 110. We look for a three wave corrective move into monthly projected range support, 10580s. At this stage, only a close back through the 110.70 would open a move up into the 111. Eight, uh, 0.87. Moving to the Eurozone and data starts there as well on Tuesday with the September ZEW survey of expectations. Last time out negative 54.9 uh, sunk to a series low uh, similar to other sentiment surveys in the Eurozone. On Wednesday we get July industrial production looking for a negative 0.7% print there. Buoyant through Q2 those supply issues continue to linger. Then on Thursday, we get the July trade balance and uh, the value of energy related imports really remains elevated and is going to, uh, going to be a challenge on that July trade balance. Last time out was negative 30.8 billion. Then we round out the week on Friday with the August CPI, uh, year over year print, looking for 9.1%. Final estimate to provide detail on the breadth and intensity of inflation in the Eurozone. So from a technical perspective, uh, the Euro uh, tested into our 98.60 support area and we have seen a pullback now. We're looking for resistance here, the 101.30s. If, uh, if sellers step back in here and defend the monthly pivot and the descending trend line resistance, we actually then look for that move down into our ultimate target of the 9760s. At this stage, close through 101.50 would suggest uh, a deeper corrective move, looking to challenge the uh, monthly projected range resistance, 103.30s, and that prior high there at 103.60s. Heading to the UK, and uh, obviously, um, with the passing of the Queen, uh, there's going to be a lot of focus on state funeral etc this week uh, but from a uh, from a fundamental perspective on monday we get july trade balance and so uh, the deficit is to remain wide based on import strength on tuesday we get july iol unemployment rate looking for a 3.7 percent print there slack to become more visible into the year end then on wednesday all the cpi 
year over year, looking for 10.4%. Energy inflation is really the key risk there. Then on Thursday, the all-important BOE policy decision, where the market is weighing a 50 or 75 basis point hike, likely uh, this time around, with, uh, with many market watchers uh, leaning on the side of that 75 basis point uh, increase, which would take rates to 2.5%. And then rounding out the week on Friday in the UK, August retail sales uh, looking to continue in their negative bias so far this year, highlighting the pressure on uh, household spending uh, given the rate uh, situation in the UK. And obviously the cost of living crisis, which is, uh, is being borne by uh, a large percentage of, of the population. From a technical perspective, we tested into the 114.49. Uh, that was our target for the breakdown. And we did see some buyers step in there, looking now for a three-way corrective move, really, to get us in to test the uh, monthly pivot here of 118.40. At this stage, any loss of that 114 would be a significant bearish development, opening move down to 112.50 as the next downside objective. <clears throat> Moving to Japan, uh, light data calendar this week. Uh, really, the only data of note comes on Wednesday when we get July machinery orders. Looking for a negative 0.8% print there. July industrial production, 1% uh, looking flat. Uh, incredible volatility in capital investment in Japan and production as firms find their footing uh, post the uh, supply chain issues that have really been hampering uh, industrial production and machine orders in Japan. And that's, like I said, the only data of note next week for Japan. From a technical perspective, um, we traded up into our target zone, 144.70s. Rejection from that area. Now looking for a corrective move to develop here, initially targeting 139.18. And then as pullbacks remain contained by that 142.50s, we look for a move down into the high volume note, 135.19, and that ascending trend line support. At this stage, only a close through 145.30s would uh, target a move up to test monthly projected range resistance, 147.50s. Running out the week from a data perspective down under in Australia. Uh, Tuesday, September Westpac uh, consumer sentiment uh, to be hit by a 450 basis point rate hike in as many months in Australia. We also get NAB business survey last time at 20 conditions up six points in July. Any signs of cooling in August will be paying close attention to uh, that print. And August overseas arrivals. Uh, arrivals at 60% of pre-COVID levels uh, in terms of mid-year travel in Australia. And then that takes us into Thursday. We get September inflation expectations, 5.9% last time out. Will falling petrol prices have an impact on those expectations? We also get August employment, looking for 37.5k print there, potentially as high as 110k. Uh, employment bounces out of illness holidays and flood-induced collapse, while a lift in participation steadies the unemployment rate, she can be around 3.4%. And that rounds out the data down under in Australia. From a technical perspective, the, uh, the Aussie dollar came just shy of testing that bigger quality objective that we're targeting, the 66.44. So as pullbacks remain contained by the high volume node, 69.05 monthly, Pivot there, 6930s, and the trend line resistance and monthly projected range resistance just below the 70 handle. Watch bearish reversal patterns here to ultimately get that test down into the 6640s, and from there we'll be looking for a more meaningful upside correction. At this stage, really, we'd need to see a close back through 70 to suggest the downside is complete for now, and then we'll be looking again at another test of 7130s. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 12th of September. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.